Steady, steady, and we're down. Yeah, let's get out there. Wait. Checking seals on spacesuits? Yep, air canisters full. Need these suits to survive out there. Oh yeah, let's do this. Race ya. Whoa! Yeah, we're on the moon. Pushing creature adventuring to the limits. It's so light and low gravity here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, but also pretty bare, dusty, with almost no atmosphere or water. No obvious life. Nothing. Don't forget little creatures. They can be extreme survivalists. Right, Tardigrade? I'm getting absolutely no life readings at all. You sure there's no water up here? Anywhere? Wait, there is water. But it's under the surface. Oh, that's worth checking out. I'll grab the rock drill from the ship. What? Oh, no, the ship! It's floating into orbit. What? Didn't you turn off the boosters? No, I thought you did. Well, I thought you did. Catch it! <laughs> Get the ship! I'll give you a boost up, bro! Yeah, no! Oh. Oh. oh no! We're stranded! We can't survive in space! We're doomed! Oh no! This is bad! Badder than bad! They'll run out of air! Those suits can only protect them from outer space for a short time. If there's a creature power that just might be able to save them, it's tardigrade power. How? We know they can survive extremes here on Earth, but outer space? That's a whole other thing. We gotta try. Whoa! Lots of radiation up there. It destroys living cells. That means it's game over, man. Game over! It looks like a key to their extreme survival powers might be an ability to repair cells, deal with poisons, radiation. Yeah, but scientists don't fully understand how they do it. We'll rely on the genetic code. Tardigrades are our only hope. We need you, little gummy bear. You and your awesome powers. Well, bro, I guess this is our final creature adventure. I guess that's it for the blue and the green. But not that blue and green. Air, water, and energy, Earth has it all. And a whole bunch of incredible precious creatures. I'm gonna miss them. Yeah, the best in the galaxy.